welcome again to the living room. Well, why are we here? Well, because the lab is full of the pink fluffy monk's uh, bits of her laptop, which I'm building, uh, basically turning two duff laptops into one good one. And because there's a paint box. There's a paint box's hard drive, and there is the paint box's linear power supply. This is a big bugger. Let's use the uh, standard geeky measurement. There we go, Mega Drive 2 to scale. So, yes, you can see this is a rather large bugger, and I thought you guys and girls might appreciate a look inside. Now, as you can see, this these intimidate a lot of people, including me, to be honest. Uh, I'm taking a lot of precautions working around this, uh, including anti electric anti-electrocution mats and stuff. Well, I will be when it's powered, it's not at the moment. But, I took a look inside it and, uh, yes, it's more scary than even I thought it was going to be. Uh, so I thought you might appreciate a quick look inside. Put the lights on. Okay. Please bear in mind, this hasn't been cleaned yet. I can't put this in the bath like I usually would. Uh, it's a bit more delicate. But, I have to use a toothbrush in this one. Here we go, that's just taking the top off. And as you can see, it's already getting scary. Whoops, accidentally knocked the camera off, but there we go. Okay, there's the uh, big transformer itself, of which taps loads of different voltages. Uh, noise filtering. And masses and masses of cables. There's the fan itself from. Uh, these are the output ports, and I've got to uh, work out which each one of them does. I do have a method. I do have a method. But now, if I put the camera back on there for a moment, I can show you this also comes away. And yes, lovely. Nice stuff. Stuff is good. Yes, a bit intimidating. Looks like relays down there. Tell me what they are, you know. Uh, yes, huge capacitors. Oh, very grubby. It must have been used for a lot of years. Well, it was used for a lot of years. And, uh, yes. So what I'm doing in here, basically, cleaning it out. I think I'll be using a toothbrush to get this stuff out. I'm also checking all the components, especially these capacitors for bulges, leaks, spirits, anywhere. Uh clean the whole thing out. See the size of the transformer over there. <laughs> and all these taps for different power levels. Uh, yes. Intimidating? Yes. But doable. Yes. Well, uh, we'll give it a shot. Uh, so yes, checking tool for damage and then we're going to power it on without a load and uh, let it run for a short while. Make sure there's no magic smoke. We will then test the voltages coming out of each of these ports, make sure they're correct and within the tolerances. Then, if that's successful, we'll do a once over on the drive to make sure it's all as healthy as can be expected, and then try and power the drive from this. If it does power the drive, what we'll do as a precaution is, well, there's none on this side, but we shall. Although they do look fine at the moment, as a precaution, B45. I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to get some advice on that one because I don't know about that one. Please let me know if you do. But I need to replace these capacitors as a precaution. This one, I'm gonna have to ask you guys on because I don't know how to replace that one. Is that some special order or do I need to adapt one? But there we go. Is a uh, quick look. I think it looks fine. There's some corrosion on the case, but it does actually look okay inside. We're going to get all this gunk off and have a look. So there you go. I thought you might appreciate that quick look inside this beast. What a beast it is. Leave it open. Put that in there. And we'll get some lunch before I clean this. Right. Thank you very much. I thought you might appreciate that.